Well, welcome back to Shane's Main Shop. Today I got us just a small project. Uh, we have a pool table, but one thing we don't have is a pool cue bridge. So um, I had this old pool stick. It is definitely warped at the end here, so it's really no good for shooting pool. However, I'm going to cut this off and make the bridge for it so you can use it to go out halfway across the table and make those shots. I've been meaning to do this now. I know you can go buy them. They're like, you know, anywhere from 10 to 50 bucks, probably even more for some. But why bother? This stick is no good for shooting. We'll cut this thing off. We'll make it ourselves. So stick around. I'll show you what we uh, end up with. All right, so I found this scrap piece of tiger maple. It's got some nice design to it. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to sand it down first. And then I'm going to draw the shape on it. All the little valleys that you put your stick in and then we'll uh, start cutting it out. But first, let's get it cleaned up a little bit. So I ran this through the bandsaw to, to re-saw and bring it down much thinner. Certainly don't need half inch or three quarter inch. Um, so I brought it down quite a bit and then sanded it all up again. Now I gotta come up with the design. It, it will not be this long either. I got a little split here I'm gonna cut off. So I gotta get the design in for the valleys. Uh, so I'm gonna draw that out now and see what, uh, see what uh, will fit on here and look good. All right, so I have something somewhat drawn on here. It's not exactly symmetrical, but when I do the sanding and finish up work, I'll make sure it is. And of course, there'll be a hole drilled in the center here to attach it uh, to the stick here. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, get this cut out to its rough shape, and then we'll do some fine tuning. All right, so I got the rough shape cut out here. And I'm going to sand it all up and try to get it as close to uh, even and uniform as possible. And then, of course, I still have to drill the hole in the center as well. Uh, but yeah, so far, that's what we got. I'm going to use it on the end. It's probably taller than a normal one, but we'll see. I'm not sure if there's a regulation size to these, but we just play around at home with the pool table, so it's not a big deal. Did quite a bit of sanding to it. Uh, it's not perfect. Then I drilled the hole as close as I could, and, when I'm gonna, and I cut the tip of the um, old pool stick off here and it's going to slide this in because this tapers and gets larger I'm going to get it glued and then I'll cut off the extra um, but before I do that I'm going to clean the uh, finish off of this stick here so I get uh, make sure I get good adhesion from wood to wood without having this clear finish so I got some glue on it I got it shoved down on there and we're going to let that dry and we will cut this off like I said sand everything up and I might um, sand the handle down a little bit here and put a new finish on it we'll see now another thing I just did <coughs> excuse me is I drilled a hole in this so I can hook something to this and hang it while I spray it so I can hang it up and then that's going to get cut off up there anyways so we're going to get ready to hang that I just sanded it down again this is just an old stick I just sand it down I'll try and put a new clear finish on it once I get everything else. Once that glue is dried, I can sand the pencil mark off that. Then we'll hang this thing up and uh, spray it. All right, just got it hanging up like that there. It's all sanded down. I'm gonna go ahead and put a finish coat on it and let it dry.